Sean Hannity did an enormously long uh, segment on all the different ways that poor George Zimmerman is the victim. First, he claims that liberals have overreacted to this case. Let's watch. Look, we don't know all the facts, and this has been my complaint from the very beginning here, is that uh, we have members of Congress that said he was hunted down, meaning Trayvon Martin, like a rabid dog. You have people that say he was uh, profiled. No evidence suggests that. People saying he was killed because he is black. You have activists. You have a bounty on somebody's head. Uh, you've got now, you know, so much surrounding this case. The special prosecutor says, no, absolutely no influence whatsoever. So, uh, constantly, the bounty on his head, we've got the activists. Now, wait a minute, the new Black Panther Party aren't activists. Activists are people that are trying to do political change, whether they're on the right side or the left side, right? And, but, of course, it's the smear. To say, oh, everybody overreacted, and then oh, but this poor Zimmerman guy with a bounty on his head. Well, they over, quote, unquote, you're claiming overreacted because the guy had shot someone in the chest and hadn't been arrested for well over a month. I mean, the shooting was in February. Finally, we got the arrest in April. Okay, the reason that he got arrested was because people reacted, not overreacted. All right, now he says, well, no, it's also uh, the network's fault. Let's watch that. Shannon, I still go back to, I think, the key, the key interview up to this point. Again, not having all the facts, not rushing to judgment on this program the way other networks have. We have three networks, and we'll deal with this later in the program. NBC edits a tape that makes it quite incriminating towards Mr. Zimmerman. Then, of course, we have ABC. They get the video of Mr. Zimmerman going to the police station. They have to retract when they say, oh, no evidence of any injuries. A closer examination showed that. Um, and then we have another network that has an audio specialist that says that a racial slur was uttered, that had to be retracted. So you got NBC, ABC, CNN, all tracting in this case, and then irresponsible comments by members of Congress. We got a bounty on the head of George Zimmerman. A lot of things surrounding this. Again, the bounty on Zimmerman's head by the ridiculous fringe group that represents absolutely no one, but he keeps throwing it out there like poor Zimmerman, the victim. He's the victim of that bounty, the activists, the liberals, the, the congressmen, and the three networks, mainstream media, against this poor George Zimmerman guy who shot the 17-year-old kid in the chest and didn't get arrested for it, but God, he's the victim here. Well, Sean, you're doing a terrific job of defending him, so let's keep going a little bit more. Now, uh, apparently, uh, we're gonna cry about how with, uh, that Zimmerman might be right after all on his version of the story. Watch this. You're, but you did have the one definitive interview. There was an eyewitness from day one, and you interviewed him, I believe it was immediately thereafter, or pretty close thereafter, and your eyewitness was adamant in saying that he saw Trayvon Martin on top of George Zimmerman beating Mr. Zimmerman, which would be consistent with A, the broken nose, the lacerations in the back of the head, and the grass stains that apparently were on the back of his shirt. We know there's one other witness, too, that says that same exact thing. So, yes, there are questions. How so that would then be that would then be two witnesses that corroborate at least the story that Trayvon was beating up Mr. Zimmerman. And I would argue, and you're a prosecutor, that you know, barring any new information we get, and we, we say that sincerely because I think we are going to learn new facts in the case, that at least on the surface seems to corroborate Mr. Zimmerman's story at the time. Well, of course, George Zimmerman is totally right about everything. Now, we saw the video. He didn't seem to have a broken nose at all, but it doesn't matter. Zimmerman's case is taken at face value by Fox News. Oh, he had a bloody nose. And Trayvon was on top of him, according to Tra Sean Hannity. That's why when uh, Zimmerman shot him, he got no blood on him at all. Because that always happens when you shoot someone directly above you, their blood doesn't spill on you at all. But hey, it's Fox News. George Zimmerman must be right. That's the side of the story that uh, Fox News uh, presents in order to be fair and balanced. Okay, well, some people are saying the victim is right. And we're here to balance things out by telling you that the guy who did the shooting is right. Uh, but of course, race has nothing to do with this, but I want to congratulate Sean Hannity for actually going one minute in this program without mentioning the bounty. But here's my favorite part. Uh, it turns out Zimmerman, poor guy, was overcharged. Let's watch. Who initially started the physical altercation? Well, I, I spoke to Mr. Zimmerman's father, uh, and I did speak to Mr. Zimmerman. I'll keep that conversation private. I'll talk about the conversation with the father that was right here on this program. And his story was that, in fact, Trayvon Martin confronted him as he was making his way back to the car. We don't know. Mm -hmm. And I want to emphasize that. We don't know. I want justice in this case. If this was some type of racially motivated killing, 
and, and George Zimmerman does not seem to fit the profile of somebody who mentored minority children, was involved in a case to defend an African-American homeless man that was beaten by the son of one of a, a local police officer. It doesn't seem to fit that profile. But there's been this rush to judgment by so many. On the surface, then, in your analysis of the law, it seems like there might be some, some overcharging here. Overcharging, again, poor guy. Rush to judgment? The shooting is in February. We're in April. Rush to judgment? What did you want? You wanted to wait, what, two years before you arrest the guy? How in the world is this rush to judgment? And, and of course, here comes Sean Hannity again. Well, no, George Zimmerman and his dad tell me he's innocent, so he must be. Well, Fox News, you have done a brilliant job of defending this guy who is now charged with second-degree murder and a guy who indisputably shot a poor kid in the chest who was not armed and killed him. I hope you're proud.